Hello, hello. Welcome back to Valkyrie the Bloody. Now, let me just actually turn on my headset because I can't hear shit when I've got it turned off. I just changed the battery out on it because it was getting flat. I forgot to turn it back on because I'm an idiot. All right, now let's see. You were the level four that was just put in as a temp. Doing a bit of temping before he got back. Oh, Gulgast Death Dealer. With his armor of damnation and his ability to die a lot. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I gave him some uh, interesting uh, units, didn't I? Yeah, but he's back. That's the main thing. Uh, what can we recruit here? Nothing too exciting. Wouldn't want the excitement to get to us. Um, so I'll leave that. What I might do though is get rid of these two gifts and we're going to go with restoring of the of them. There we go. So we'll get some more of them again. Uh, Black Pillar 7. Far beneath an archmage. Uh, problem is, he just does not this have much of a force. Moving out. Pull him way back. Any Chaos Warriors yet? No. No Chaos Knights either. It's not good. To fight. Uh, let's see. Let's see. He's got a slightly too many forces around, doesn't he? That's right, we'll just uh, go with ambushing there. Uh, we should check here, is there any Chaos Warriors? There's a, here's a Chaos Warrior. Say goodbye to you. Say hello to another Chaos Warrior, because they're excellent. Uh, yeah, no Chaos Knights at the moment. Which is a bummer. Yep, you're the axe father, I take it. I take it. Hard to hit for you. No path of glory. Fator is only level... No, we're not done. He's only level 8, so he's still a ways off. Level 7 for him. He's level 29, so he's the one. It's the level 29 that's the most likely to actually do anything useful. Let's get into another soul grinder. I can. Ah. Cool. Uh, what do we want you to do? We want you level, so level 5 to pop up here and not do anything there because you've got yeah, minus 50% for that. So you'll just sort of scout for the moment. Uh, we maxed out our heroes. We could grab a sorcerer and actually do some stuff with him. That's actually a good point. Uh, let's take you. So, we'll use a sorcerer to... Uh, what do they do? Steel technology, block armies. That, actually, yes, that's a good idea to have a sorcerer doing those things. Over here, no, there's no good troops we want, so that's fine. We're not going to worry about lords that haven't moved. We're not going to worry about his path to glory. Wait. Gulgarth Death Dealer. Oh, yeah, no, it is his path to glory. Should we make him a demon? That's right, yeah, because I'm giving him the, the transform currents will be half the rank of the previous one. All skills will reset if you're chosen again. Do boons a cast loss upon transformation. Cost will decrease the higher the character's level. Okay, well, we'll do that anyway. Annihilation awaits. All right, Gulgast Death Dealer is now a demon prince. Demon prince! Doesn't really look like he's any different, but that's all right. So we'll die, ruination. We'll go through this again. Fetid Galapot. Campaign movement range and come out. We're not going to worry about that just yet. We're going to go here. 
Um, we're all still going for non-demonic there. And... That's all non-demonic, non-demonic. Actually, yeah, we'll go for that. Because we've got infantry. And we've got things. Because they're flies, they're missiles. Cool, see how that goes. He's an exalted hero, so what we do is with him, is we're going to turn that off at the moment. Because I'm not using him for that. Uh, he does not need to be like that. Yep. Uh, yep. That's cool. Now, Valkia. What, where, where are you, Valkia? Valkia the bloody... Um, I'm not seeing any of the born undivided armies at the moment, so we keep her over here. We keep an eye on things, of course. We might be able to snap up the plains of Zabrajin. Oh, yeah, we've got that going. Minus 350. That's okay. We've got 11,000 still, so we're all good. The four. Do you think you can tread the shadow? Mm, yeah, no one really likes us, except for some of the uh, vassals. That's all right. How much do we make from trade? Nine hundred sixteen. Wow. Considering we are a faction that just takes heads and turns them into piles, it's essentially is your backstory. We do a decent amount of trade. Nine hundred sixteen gold. It's not a huge amount of trade, but it's uh, more than you would expect from lunatic slaughterers. Oh, hello. Yep, okay. Yo, oh, hello. He's in for it now, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's fucking gone in for a penny, in for a pound there. That's all right. That's all right. <clears throat> Ow. And the Demon Prince with an escort of Bloodthirsters should do pretty fucking good, you'd think. Um, I actually, the, the thing I mostly want to check with him as well is, it, does he still have restrictions on the amount of demonic units that he can have? Because at the moment it's six, which he's got five. So three Soul Grinders two bloodthirsters and a partridge in a pear tree um, but yes we shall see uh, my hands and arms are so fucking sore and itchy fucking wise cat lost its shit and I got fucking uh, like a thousand scratches everywhere now that are all in the process of healing and they're all itchy and I keep poking at them all I've got a scratch that goes across a knuckle as well so fucking hell. On top of that, the last week he's destroyed multiple mice and mice speakers. So, doing well with having cats. Um, they're great animals. You should all totally get yourself cats. They will make you wish you were um, dead. Or, or something similar to that. Uh, or whatever it is cats are supposed to do, this one doesn't seem to do it as far as I can tell makes the wife happy um, possibly because he destroys me but oh well. anyway that aside let's get going so oh yep so we've got one of our oh, exalted heroes has come back and another one has come back as well that's exalted heroes good oh that's right that's why he still had 19 because he had to get that hero back now you you, my princeling, can head this way and reveal the map to me. You catch up with him. Uh, we will give him space in here. I mean, fuck, we've got marauders, so I think we'll be right. Let's get these uh, chaos warriors, though. They are better than marauders. 100%. 
Blood thirsters. Also better than marauders. Um, yeah, Who actually I didn't check, did I? Yeah, so we've got... No, still only a maximum of five. That just seems weird. Is there a skill that I could increase that with? By any chance? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a really good one. I like that. Still only a maximum of six. That's a bit shit, to be honest. Uh, is he still immortal? No, he's not immortal now. So pull it comes out of being immortal. That's a bit weird. All right, Valkyrie. follows me. Keep heading this way. Plains of Zabrajin. That's where we're going. Spill blood for Make it ours. If anyone can, you can. Uh, can we reach? Um, no, we cannot. Um, our problem is as well. Anyway, there is a RK on there. Now. Yes. Over on top of that, they no longer control Quark. Okay, off. Oh, we can't assault those units. Yes, we can assault that garrison. That's good. Uh, exalted hero of coin, you get that. Uh, you. Uh, we'll put in spread fear because I just like that one. Because it helps reduce that. And I find that amusing. Uh, exalted hero here. He can have more specialist as well. Uh, yep, nothing really to do there. Who hasn't moved? Has anyone not moved? No, oh, everyone's moved. Talagos, he's a hero. He's wounded. And you're a hero that's wounded as well. Yeah, you're trying to get back into an army. You just came back. Who are you? You're a sorcerer. Let's see what they're going to do now. I kind of hope uh, Malekith pisses off. That would be good. I doubt he's going to. That other army's headed off that way. Yep, yep. This is why I need a sorcerer. This way, because if I've got a sorcerer, I can I can do things like block armies and that sort of thing. So if I probably even get a couple more. Just to run blocks on armies that are coming up. Um, that could be a good idea. Because you block some, you don't block others. That way you're still fighting certain armies and that sort of thing. Oh, there is an army there. Okay. There you go. Oh, we'll hit the plains of Zabrajin first anyway, and then head back. Maybe to see what's going on. Um, we might have that vassal as ours as well, so that sh might be helpful. Might be. You never know. A vassal can be helpful every now and then. Once uh, once in every blue moon during uh, a, the uh, 53rd week on every 18th... Um, uh, what is it? Leap year. That's the one I was looking for. Yep, leap year. So... Unfortunately, if the blue moon doesn't land on that particular day, then you, you're fucked and your vassal's not going to be useful at all. So, yeah. Um, expect nothing. <laughs> expect nothing. Then you won't be disappointed when you get it. See? Just sacrifices himself. <laughs> fucking... It's a fucking giant enemy. I'm gonna ram into him and get myself killed. Oh. Now, instead of taking our uh, lovely Lady of Death back, there might be other uh, other option. But, uh, 
He is also. Let's uh, move him down that way. You, you should. 33%, 30. See if we can do an assassination with him. You're a good man. Good man. Send him that way. And he. Oh, did I send him too far? Oh, no, I didn't. Alright, we'll get rid of that. You jump in there, Samoth. Yes, encouragement through fear. Good idea. Now, since he isn't actually a. Isn't um, uh, immortal anymore. We're gonna take. I'm gonna take these two ways, talisman of preservation, because he is too nice to have the possibility of losing. Um, what down here could we get rid of though, or could we? Oh, actually, let's give him a tormentor sword as well. Yeah, they're actually really good. More band upgrade costs. Blah blah blah. Cool. It's That's looking pretty juicy. Alright, Valkyrie the bloody. Speaking of juicy. Prains of Jabra Jin. Done by Jin. Uh, we won't lose anything, apparently. So, yeah, we'll just order ourselves. We'll replenish super quick, so. This is property of the we'll take queen. that one. That is now ours. And we get a little achievement. So that's nice. Talisman of Endurance, that's also good. Got that. Now, let's uh, get rid of that. We'll put in the walls there. Uh, we can get another Exalted Hero now, that's good. Uh, we want enough more Exalted Heroes, but we want them. We've, uh, actually. What we should do is because I want to build another army here. We're making almost 20 grand now, so another army shouldn't be too big a stretch for the old coffers. Uh, so let's see. Opened eyes. Nah, scaled skin. I like scaled skin. And we are going to recruit both of them. Him. I'll take him. Uh, him, all four of them, him, them. Straight away we've got a small army with a soft centre core of Cornate Troopies. There we go. Lovely there. Let's see if we can get that scaled skin boy as well. Good. What's this one? That's four mana cores and giants. Okay. Dominance. Weren't any giants, were there? No. Mana core, but mana cores suck. So we don't want that. Uh, excuse me. That's a, a straight up burp there. Good, good work, me. Alright, so you're going to get up nice and close up here. This will be good for us, I think. I'll crack this egg open. Uh, leadership plus eight to. Then I'll do. Got a wailing banner as well. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we're just going to occupy it. Good, good. They both got Slaughter Lord, apparently. Uh, what can we do? Steel technology. Let's go with this one, steel technology. That gives us more of the map that we can see. Not exactly your most important of things, but not unimportant as well. Alright. That's good. Uh, I actually think we'll send him off this way to do some scouting for us. Just so I just want to, this way I'm keeping an eye on where everything is. Alright, Exalted Hero of Corn. Oh shit, yep. Which Lord? Let's just go with the Lord and his two heroes like this. 
Uh, you're up to fetid gallopot. That's good. Rel. Uh, okay, that's cool. So he can be the replenishment bitch. Uh, Fetor. Good. Your replenishment bitch, you get vengeful scorcher. Uh huh. You've got that. It's a bit more hard to hit. More hard to hit. Anyone else leveled? You've leveled. You get serve or die. Adulted hero. Get points in that. He's fine. More specialist for him as well. Quirk. Can have walls. Yep, you just hang there, dude. That's your job. Um, yeah, we may as well put that up. Alright. Uh, who hasn't moved? Anyone? Oh. Everyone's moved. He's the new one there. He's just come back. He's also going to join this army. So he's going to end up with four heroes. Bloodthirsters is a pretty fucking crazy army at the moment. I don't know why you're facing that way, but whatever. Good. good. Looking good. Uh, if they'd have said that, that should uh, ruin the entire campaign, and now we're going to die. Because that's what normally happens. Uh, challenge stones. He's got the challenge stones still. Kind of pushed them back a lot, though. Cool, cool. That's fine. I think things are looking fairly good for Valkyrie. Fairly, fairly good. We're still going to be at war with Eatane, who are much more powerful than we are. Agarath is going to bring their damaged army back, I assume. No, they're heading off to fight Dark Elves. Which doesn't look like worked out particularly well for them. Nagarond have a whole bunch of partial armies here. Which isn't going to be good for them. I really think the um the the demon prince should be able to have uh, just demonic units if they if you want them to. Um, but mm, I, it's it's the way they've decided to do it. I couldn't be bothered Lord really questioning it. Stands ready to annihilate your kind. Yeah, annihilate his kind. You know, chaos warriors. He's really he's desperate for a peace treaty, but we're not. So, with that new army, that basically is just to stop that uh, other army from uh, taking back that city. Just sort of keep them back a little bit. Stop them from moving up and butchering is too hardcore. Oh, shit. Yawning. Zen turns just take forever. Or so it feels. It feels that way, doesn't it? Yes. Now, Gulgar's death deal, we want him going south. South. He's going south for the winner. Yeah. Alright. Now, Valkyrie won't reach the next city you'll all get. Uh, let's see what we got. One, one, thank you. It's an alright chaos army. Slowly getting there already. We'll just have it at that. 
So we want to see if we can, because we might be able to lure them in. We've only got 12. Uh, so we've got a very small garrison there at the moment because we don't have walls. So that's a good way to lure them in. Here we plonk in walls and we're going to send her off this direction towards Floating Mountain. Uh, oh, she's actually got to do a lot of replenishing still. Uh, these two are going to hit the black pillar. This time, Glogmir gets to perform the attack. Good, good. Oh, yeah, we're going to sack that one. Last time it was only 1,000 sacks, so... I think this is a bad, that's a better idea. And you can occupy. Let the slaughter commence. You can go in an ambush stance nearby. You can. See if we can assassinate. Fail, that well. Uh, you. Move you this way. Already increased the research rate, so that's good. Uh, you can rock down here to do Demon Prince things to Har Kaldra. Now, what we're going to do if though is we're going to Banner of Rage. Give that to you. Uh, that one we'll give to a hero. We encircle it. Why are we encircling it? Because we've got our hero that needs to rejoin over here. Gonna take that spot. Deluge of slaughter. That's a different kind of rain. It's raining slaughter. Hallelujah. Right, you are an exalted hero. Let's just uh, see if we can pop over here for a quick bit of nothing. Because you've got your minus 50 penalty at the moment. So we'll just make you a scout. Uh, who are you? Ah, oh, yes, these guys. Fator! Looking at Fator at the moment. No, we'll start with Gulgam. 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 Trackus. Takras, Takraus, Takraus. Ah, uh, cannot speak. Uh, da, da, da. You get to be a gladiator. Lord of Rage. Fator, last point in Galapot for you. That's good. War and slaughter. Uh, punishment, bitch. That's good. Vengeful uh, Scorcher. First for battle. You get to be a gladiator. Uh, you. Uh, I'll go with the salt garrison. Good, good, good. It's going well. That is going to be it for this episode. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pop over here. We're going to go to him. Because this is what we're going to do. We're going to, in the next episode, start with this because I want to see how he actually runs in the end now that we've got him. Um, he might be terrible. He might be good. Uh, what we'll probably do is get him to... Basically, we'll get him with his bloodthirsters to start attacking the Dark Shards. Hopefully, we won't just get slaughtered by them as they approach. And the rest of our army should then be able to approach with impunity. But we'll see how we go for the next episode. So that's it. I've been Ashen Ninja. This has been uh, Valkyrie the Bloody. And I'll see you later.